Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out on the launch pad again with the Venus Return Project. This is our second mission going to Venus during this window. Uh, its mission is to obtain orbit, gather some science, and then hopefully return back to Earth with said science. Um, based on that inclination change from our last flight, well, we haven't done the inclination change yet, but we know that we have to. Um, this mission is highly questionable, to say the least. All right, we're just getting our inclination relative to the moon down to something acceptable. 0.26 seems all right with me. All right, throttle set to full, ignition. All right, we're lit. Let's get those clamps off and get this mission underway. All right, this uh, rocket does include a new HV upper stage. Man, I really hope it does. It's been so long since I built this thing, I really don't remember what it has and what it doesn't. So, we're gonna zip through this launch right quick, and I will see you in a little bit. And thankfully, there was nothing of any real significance to report on this launch. Everything went smooth. Uh, coming up here on Booster Sep, and yeah, right about now. There they go. Alright, uh, this rocket, other than other RA9s, has a slightly extended, uh, upper fuel tank, giving it a little bit longer burn time, but the real question is, will the RL-10s fire? Alright, stage step is good. All four of our RL-10s are lit. That is uh, very good news. There's always a question on whether or not the RL-10s will light. Alright, let's just lock this one last tank so that those RCS thrusters stop... Oh, they didn't stop firing. Why did they not stop firing? What tank did I leave? Not locked. Rut row. Well, oh, that's a tank, isn't it? Yep. All right, now we're good. More mixed news, really, on this stage. All four RL-10s did stay lit, and we did have a successful burn here, despite their uh, record being shoddy at best. But the burn did take a little longer than expected, resulting in a little less fuel being available than I had initially anticipated. <clears throat> All right. 195 by 188. Uh, it's an orbit, and we burned way more fuel from our upper stage than I initially thought we would, which is awesome, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, nothing is going to plan anymore. Uh, set this target. Uh, that's our Mercury Explorer. How nice. All right, let's get this node plotted. Rendezvous planner, no. Maneuver Planner. Alright, we'll take it. Uh, first one is 3,400 meters per second. Uh, we got 1,800 in this stage, which is more than I thought we would. Uh, so, at least there's that. You can go away now, MacJub. So we'll get ourselves into position. All right, 43 minutes until our burn kicks off. Not bad. So, let's... All right, we are at the four minute mark. Let's ullage our engines. Very stable, the ignition. All four of them are lit, thank goodness. Phew. Yeah, I think we'll probably wait until after we decouple to try to get ourselves a beauty shot. Although that, that is pretty, pretty. I do, I do like that. Maybe that's the winner today. We'll see. All 
All right. Stage sep. Let's go ahead and lock two of our lateral tanks and get clear. Unlock these core tanks just to make sure we can stay burning. Ignition. Oh god. The rest of this burn is going to take 10 minutes. Eek. Alright, so those tanks are moving. Good. These tanks are not. Uh, I've actually kind of pondered uh, draining two tanks, ditching them, and then draining the other two tanks, and then ditching them, and hoping that the, uh, the loss of weight from getting rid of two empty tanks versus uh, trying to carry all four of them will help us out with our efficiency a bit. Um, not sure if I can group that into staging or not. No. Yeah, okay, that one. Okay. Excellent. I cannot believe this is going to take another 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know if these tanks are going to finish the burn or not. They are not. Alright, well we're coming up on tank set. And away they go. That's just prettier. Ooh, that might be our winner today. What do you think? Maybe? Okay. Alright, well, we've got to get these two tanks unlocked now. We will pin them open. And then use them to uh, fill our core stage which obviously we will need for either braking and the return home, but it's really that four ignition limit that has me the most worried right now. Okay, we are on our way, hopefully. We have a course correction of 1,849 meters per second to attend to, which uh, still looks like it's going to get us on a very good intercept. A collision intercept as a matter of fact so we'll just make some quick adjustments to that yeah that looks good I think we'll do that <laughs> and uh, 1849 meters per second is going to be our total course correction I guess we should set up a Kerbal alarm clock to tell us when that's going to be uh, 58 days add that alarm uh, 57 days 3 hours 58 days 3 hours oh wow <laughs> just exa about 24 hours apart almost to the minute that's pretty cool alright well um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to make uh, this transfer of science into the command pod thing work but I, I won't bore you with that thanks for hanging out everybody I do appreciate it so um, I don't know. If you got any suggestions or comments or anything, go ahead and leave them for me right down there. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. Y'all are awesome. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see all of you tomorrow. Until then, see you later.